O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great weekend. Don't make assumptions. Let your life be transformed. When you stop making assumptions, your word becomes impeccable, and your life is completely transformed. Magic just happens in your life. What you need comes to you freely and easily because the spirit moves freely through you. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 121, Nasdaq's down 42, SP's off six and a half. Gold, gold contract down 80 cents, trading at 19.63 an ounce. We have silver up 80 cents, 9.84. No, no, that's platinum. Silver up 25 cents, 25 dollars, 20 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck 51, trading out at 75 dollars, 38 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. So 10 year note. Down 16 ticks, trading 112.17. The 30 year down 20 at 126.12 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up 171 ticks, trading 99.946. The Euro is at 112. The Yen is at 138. And the British Pound is at 130 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? And the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Well, let's go. we're going to go to the SPY and the E-minis first. And what you're going to see, this bar has big volume, folks. It had as much volume in three minutes into the bar uh, as the rest of the day. So we're going to stay at these levels. You can, see, you can see what's happening here. Look at this bar. This bar, and we're on, you're at nine minutes on this bar. It's the biggest bar of the day we have, you know. So bottom line is that, this thing, you know, it can get down to the bottom of it, it you know, it, it can flatten out. But you can see 45,000 contracts, that's inside the um, E-mini. If we go over to the SPY and take a look at the SPY, you're going to have the same type of setup. You know, you broke lower, and you can see that baby right there. That's uh, 1.9 million. This, the thing that was wild is that the, the swing point only had 900,000. And we were on this bar here, we were actually at 300, no, 400,000 at uh, three minutes into the bar. So the bottom line, that's sticking out like a sore thumb, and we'll see where it shakes out, but meaning that it's going to stay lower. Gold. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract out here. What do you have with the gold contract? Bottom line, this thing's off to the races. Uh, you take a look at gold. Gold is flat out here today. We are at a price point of uh, 1963. We went to 1954. We rejected lower price, and we're going to have lighter volume. There we go. Come on, baby. There we go. Okay. So you can see what we did here. Uh, yesterday, you had volume of uh, 241,000. The day before, we had volume of 271. We pulled back into the 271, the, the bar. We had 183. Bottom line, rejected lower price, and right now you're at 1963. This is setting up that now wants to try to get up and break the 1987 area. And, you know, bottom line, my take is that when you take a look at this, the way this is set up is that you already, you know, you broke the downtrend in a big way. So gold's on its way now to 2102. NASDAQ. Let's go to the NASDAQ. You're going to see the same setup in the NASDAQ, the NQs first. We take a look at the NQs. You're going to see the same type of setup. Pull this back so you can see it quite clearly. You can see the expansion of volume in the NQs. That's uh, 17,651. It broke in the swing of 15,000. Bottom line, it's broken all the swings here. That's, that's the bottom line. If we take a look at the Qs, you're going to see the same deal inside the queues. Pull that back a little. You can see that big spike. See that bar? So the, the little swing there had uh, eight, no, 867,000 shares 
we broke that with 1.5 million. You know, so the bottom line is that you're gonna, they're going to sell this into the close. And we go to the dollar. The thing that's really crazy here, man, is that, you know, it's about time the dollar did get a bounce. But it is wild that you just get a little bounce in the dollar and, you know, the market basically, you know, can't handle it, which is really wild, man. You know, now my take is that we're going, the, so the dollar, yeah, one second, close this. The dollar went down to 99,500. 78, so you went 400 ticks over in the dollar, okay, up from the dollar. That being said, when you take a look at how this dollar is set up, we'll put this on a longer basis, what you're going to see is that you get a decisive break, man. You get a, that's, that's a decisive break, if anything's a break. And that says that your next stop, well, actually, your next stop, just on like a daily, gets you down to 96. On the week, on the monthly, it gets you down to, my God, it's, yeah. On the monthly, we're right down here, 89, you know. So bottom line, lower prices uh, in the dollar should set up. So this is, what's going to get interesting here is that we'll see how the dollar bounces first. And as the dollar bounces, I expect that you know, the market will pull back a bit. So if, let's picture the dollar bouncing. If the market starts pulling back on light volume, all is that is setting up, okay, is a higher market once the dollar turns again and goes back down again, okay? Because the, when, the, when the dollar is going down, this market wants higher price, gold wants higher price, silver wants higher price. Let's go over the oil market, CLA, because you can see that just that little tiny move, the thing that's pretty wild is that just that smaller move in, in the dollar, uh, bottom line, you know, made a difference. You know, yesterday we went up a buck fifty-eight. Today we're down a buck fifty-eight. And yeah, see, that's interesting. See, there's more volume yesterday. So the bottom line, and yesterday had a higher high. So oil's not down also. Oil wants higher price, man. Wild. Absolutely wild. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 143. NASDAQ is down 41. S&P's off four and a half. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.